In this presentation, we will understand comments in Python. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is introduction to comments. The second topic is single line comment. The third topic is multi line comment. And the last topic, the fourth topic is use of comments. Let's now understand these topics in details. Let's start with the first topic that is introduction to comments. Let's first understand the meaning of comment. A comment is a text that is added in a program to improve the readability of the program. So, a comment is simply a text that we add for our reference. We as a programmer should write comments in our program to improve the readability of the program. It helps other programmers to understand the lines of code we have added in our program. Maybe our program is quite complex to understand. Adding comments helps improve the readability of the program, which eventually helps other programmers to understand the logic of our program. We will understand with the help of example what do I mean by this. For now, we just need to understand that a comment is simply a text that we add in our program to improve the readability of the program. Also, a comment is always ignored by the Python interpreter. So, whenever we write a comment in our program, the comment will be completely ignored by the Python interpreter. Now, let's understand what do I mean by improving the readability of the program through comments. For this, we need to consider this simple example. In this example, I have written these two comments. Let's now understand what do I mean by these comments. Here I have written hash, then declare and initialize variables. Every comment is followed by hash symbol. So, first we need to type hash and then we need to type the text that we want to type. Like in this case, I have typed declare and initialize variables because the next two lines are all about this only. I want to indicate what these two lines are all about. So, I have written a comment here declare and initialize variables. Here I have declared two variables x and y and I have initialized them with values 10 and 20 respectively. So, this is the reason I have written this comment. Now, if some other programmer see my code, then he or she will understand the program I have written. I have declared these two variables and initialized them as well. Other than this, I have written one more comment. Now, you can easily understand why this is a comment because every comment is followed by hash symbol. So, first we need to type hash and then the line that we want to type. In this case, I have typed prints the result of x plus y because the next line is printing the result of x plus y. We know that print function is capable of printing something on the screen. Here to the print function, I have provided x plus y and this is the reason why we are getting this output 30 because x plus y is 30. So, this comment is also improving the readability. Here, I have written prints the result of x plus y. I hope the concept of comments is clear now. With this, we are done with the introduction to comments. Let's move on to the next topic that is single line comment. So, what is a single line comment? A single line comment always starts and ends in the same line. This is the first point that is, it always starts and ends in the same line. For example, the code that we have written before has single line comments. The first line here is a single line comment as it starts and ends in the same line. Similarly, this is also a single line comment because this comment is also starting and ending in the same line. The second point is that it is legal to write single line comment just after the line of code ends. So, it is not mandatory that a single line comment always take its own line. We can write single line comments after the line of code ends. For example, in this piece of code, I have written this single line comment after this line of code ends. Here I have written print x plus y and after this, this is hash prints the result of x plus y. So, it is clear with this that we can write single line comment after the line of code ends. So, we have understood what a single line comment is all about. Let's move on to the next topic that is multi line comment. There are multiple ways to add multi line comments in our code. The first method is using multiple hashes. 
we can use multiple hashes to write multi line comments we just need to add hash before every line for example let's type this line hash python is a wonderful then let's hit enter and type hash language which is created and then hit enter and type hash and supported by some then again let's hit enter and type hash wonderful people across the globe now if you read this entire text this is python is a wonderful language which is created and supported by some wonderful people across the globe let's hit enter and as we can see we are not getting any error this means that it is perfectly legal to write comments like this so this is a multi line comment example we are interested in adding comments in multiple lines and this is the reason why we have added multiple hashes here so before every line of comment we add hash in this way we can create multi line comments this is one method of adding multi line comments there is one more method which we can use to add multi line comments the second method is triple quotes we can use single triple quotes or double triple quotes to add multi line comments we have learned this already that triple quotes are used for multi line strings but we can also use them for multi line comments let's understand this with the help of an example let's open our command prompt once again and this time let's type python is a wonderful before this python is a wonderful we need to add these single triple quotes we are allowed to use double triple quotes as well after this we have typed python is a wonderful now we need to hit enter and type language which is created you might have noticed that python has added three dots here this means that python knows that we want to continue with the previous line there is no need to add triple single quotes or double triple quotes here now after this line we can hit enter and type the next line python will again give us these three dots this means that whatever the line we add is part of the previous lines so now let's add this line and supported by some again let's hit enter and type wonderful people across the globe in order to indicate this that we are done with this comment we need to add closing single triple quotes here now after this we can hit enter python is showing the string that we have typed here but this is not the case with the id in the id the string will not show up while in case of command prompt we will get the string from the python but when we type this in the id like visual studio code and run the code we will not get this string python will treat this as a multi line comment so we don't have to worry about this we will only get the string in the command prompt not in the id I hope the concept of multi line comment is also clear. Let's move on to the last topic of this presentation, which is use of comments. So what are the uses of comments? The first use is that it makes code easier to understand as it improves the readability of the code. We have seen this already. With comments we make different parts of our code easier to understand, and that is why it is a good practice to add comments in our code. The second use of comments is that it helps in debugging the code. So with the help of comments we can debug the code as well. Now what is the meaning of debugging? Debugging means finding errors in the code. It may be possible that we will get errors in our code. As getting errors while writing programs is quite common, therefore it is a good practice to add comments in the code so that we can debug the code. If we have written the comment that it makes it easier for us to understand the logic behind the code that we have written so with the help of that we can easily debug the code that we have written so comments can help us in debugging the code i hope this is also clear so with this we are done with all the topics of this presentation we have understood what a comment is we have seen two different types of comments that is single line and multi line comments and we have understood what are the different uses of comments I hope with this the concept of comments is completely clear. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.